Hi, welcome to Main Street Macro. I'm Neela Richardson, and today is my three-year anniversary as head of the ADP Research Institute. It's been an eventful three years in the economy, and as I reflect back on the journey that Main Street has been on, I think there's a lot to be thankful for when it comes to economic data. At least there are three recent data points that come to mind. Data point number one, consumer price inflation. Now, if you'll recall with me, consumer price inflation, that index is basically a basket of goods and services that the government measures in terms of price level every month. And we've seen a tremendous slowdown from the peak rate of 9% in June of 2022. It seems like yesterday, right? Well, in October, the inflation rate by this measure just rose by 3.2% compared to a year ago. So that's a big decrease and a lot of progress in the pace of the inflation rate. Now, what economists tend to do is strip out energy and food prices in order to find out what the future direction of inflation is. And here there's good news too, because the service sector, which had been heating up inflation, actually took it down a notch. It was more warm than hot. And so core inflation looks steadier now uh, and good news uh, for price levels to continue to go down. Now, the second data point we should all be thankful for is the unemployment rate. Now, the unemployment rate has edged up a little bit from record lows, but at 3.8%, it's still near those historical low levels. I think anything under 4% is something to cheer about when it comes to the economy. But it's not just the overall in unemployment rate that we should be thankful for. Prime age labor market participation is now higher than it was before the pandemic. And initial jobless claims, and that's a signal for layoffs in the economy, are still very low. You put these three data points together and you get a trifecta of a healthy labor market. Now, the third data point to be thankful for this holiday season is retail sales. Consumers, that's all of us, are really the best part of the economy. Not just because we're so cool, but because we create 70% of economic growth. And the latest data on retail sales, which is an early signal of consumer spending, has been strong. In September, we saw a big revision to the numbers, which means that consumers were looking even healthier than we, than we thought. In October, yeah, can, retail spending edged down just a little bit, but not as much as, cons as economists were expecting. And so a healthy consumer is really being propped up by this healthy labor market, which means Main Street is likely to stay on an even kill through the end of the year. Well, thanks for watching the Main Street Macro. I, as I hope you can tell that this is an economy to be thankful for this holiday season. And we wish you and yours a very happy Thanksgiving holiday. We'll be on break next week and we'll check you out the week after. Thanks for watching. Uh, for more information on all the data that we have, please check out adpri.org.